hi students now we know the basic dimensional formulas of some derived quantities some important derived quantities now in this class i am going to speak about the application of this dimensional formulas one of the main application of dimensional formulas to check the homogeneity of an equation or to check the correctness of an equation that is you know an equation an equation will consist of an lhs and an rhs an equation it will be lhs equal to rhs this is how we are having an equation if we are giving an example if i am having f is equal to ma this is our equation and in the lhs we are having f that is force and in the rhs we are having mass into acceleration okay therefore if we are having any equation we could check the homogeneity of that equation by using dimensional analysis as an example if we want to check the homogeneity of this equation or if we want to check the correctness of this equation can you say what is the lhs of this equation the lhs left hand side of this equation is force and what is the rhs of this equation rhs is mass into acceleration we know that this equation is correct but we want to check it by the method of dimensional analysis i'm teaching you that method look carefully we'll write the lhs as f rhs as ma then we'll write what is the dimensional formula of lhs what's the dimensional formula of lhs force force dimensional formula we have learned it as mlt raised to minus 2 therefore mlt raised to minus 2 it is the dimensional formula of lhs clear what is rhs rhs is ma therefore can you say what is the dimensional formula of rhs rhs is mass into acceleration what is the dimensional formula of mass mass is m the dimensional formula of mass is m what's a a is acceleration the dimensional formula of acceleration is lt raised to minus 2 therefore if you are comparing the dimensional formula of lhs to the dimensional formula of rhs you can clearly see dimensional formula of lhs is equal to dimensional formula of rhs now if the dimensional formula of lhs is equal to dimensional formula of rhs the equation therefore we could say the equation is dimensionally correct the equation is dimensionally correct let me have another equation as an example that is let's have what force into time is equal to work into displacement let's have an equation like this force into time is equal to work into displacement we have to check the correctness of this equation we have to check the correctness of this equation we'll use the same strategy that is first of all we'll write what is lhs in this case the lhs is f into t then we'll write what is the dimensional formula of lhs for that what is f f is force what is the dimensional formula of force it is mlt raised to minus 2 what is t t is time what's the dimensional formula of time it is t therefore m l t raised to minus 2 into t means t raised to minus 2 into t raised to 1 t raised to minus 2 into t raised to 1 is t raised to minus 2 plus 1 that is t raised to minus 1 therefore ml t raised to minus 1 is the dimensional formula of lhs okay then let's go for the dimensional formula of rhs for that what is rhs of this equation the rhs that is right hand side of this equation is w into x that is work into displacement then we'll try to find out the dimensional formula of rhs for that we should recall the dimensional formula of work 
the dimensional formula of work was ml square t raised to minus 2 that we have learned in the previous class what's x x is displacement displacement means it is length therefore the dimension formula of displacement is l clear then if you are making this into a simplified form m is 1 itself therefore m l square into l l square into l is l square raised to now uh, l raised to 2 plus 1 that is l raised to 3 l raised to 3 t raised to minus 2 therefore we are getting m l cube t raised to minus 2 this is the dimensional formula of rhs therefore comparing the dimensional formula of lhs and dimensional formula of rhs are they same no they are not same therefore we could conclude it like this that is the dimension formula of LHS is not equal to dimension formula of RHS. Then we could say, therefore, the equation, equation is wrong. Equation is wrong. This is the checking the homogeneity of an equation or checking the correctness of an equation. That is, we have to check the homogeneity of an equation means we will have to find out the dimensional formula of LHS and the dimensional formula of RHS. To check the homogeneity of an equation, we will have to find out the dimensional formula of LHS and the dimensional formula of RHS. If the dimensional formula of LHS is equal to dimensional formula of RHS, what did I say? I have concluded the statement that is equation is dimensionally correct. Equation is dimensionally correct. If the dimensional formula of LHS is not equal to dimensional formula of RHS, what was our final statement? It was the equation is wrong. The equation is wrong. Therefore, Checking the homogeneity of an equation, we will have to look whether dimensional formula of LHS is equal to dimensional formula of RHS. And if it is equal, then we could say it is dimensionally correct. If it is not equal, we could say it is wrong. Did I say dimensionally wrong? No, it's actually wrong. But if dimensional formula of LHS is equal to dimensional formula of RHS, did I say the equation is correct? Did I conclude the equation is correct? No, I didn't conclude the equation is correct. I have concluded it like this. That is the equation is dimensionally correct. Why? Why did I say the equation is dimensionally correct? Why can't I say the equation is actually correct? I cannot say the equation is actually correct. It's because if this equation is replaced by f is equal to 10 ma, you know, this is not the equation for force. F is equal to 10 ma is not the equation for force. F is equal to ma is the equation for force. You have learned it in your previous class. But if we are taking F is equal to 10 ma, then what is the dimensional formula of RHS? Now you know, in this case, RHS is 10 ma. Then the dimensional formula of RHS is 10. It's a numerical constant. Numerical constants are not having any dimensional formula. Numerical constants are not having any dimensional formula. Therefore, 10, it is not having any dimensional formula. Mass dimensional formula is capital M. Acceleration is dimensional formula is LT raised to minus 2. Therefore, if the equation is 10 ma, then also the dimension of RHS is equal to dimension of LHS. That is, if the equation is MA, if the equation is 10 MA, or if the equation is 25 MA, in all these cases, dimension of LHS is equal to dimension of RHS. But we know from our previous knowledge that F physical MA is the correct equation. Therefore, if an equation is dimensionally correct, it is not compulsory that it is actually correct. That's an important point. If an equation is dimensionally correct, then it is not compulsory that the equation is actually correct. Equation may be actually correct. But if an equation is dimensionally wrong, that is, if an equation's dimensional formula of LHS is not equal to dimensional formula of RHS, 
it is actually wrong it's wrong therefore the simplified statement is namaku or equation de tet undengil pettanu manasilo or equation tet aano nu confirm cheyanulla or method aanu dimensional analysis adayathu dimensional formula of lhs and dimensional formula of rhs in equal alla irichu namaku orappichu parayam the equation is wrong but if the dimensional formula of lhs is equal to dimensional formula of rhs namaku orikkilum orappichu parayan pattilla equation seriyaanu kaaranam equation selappa seriyaavu selappa seriyaavilla adu kondana nammal equation is dimensionally correct ennalla or statement vechi conclude therefore nammal checking the homogeneity of an equation the karyangal samsarichu in order to check the homogeneity of an equation we will have to find out the dimensional formula of lhs and dimensional formula of rhs then we will compare whether the dimensional formula of lhs is equal to dimensional formula of rhs if it is equal then we will conclude the equation is dimensionally correct and if someone is asking you is it actually correct we can say equation is dimensionally correct but we cannot say the equation is actually given by this method then if the dimensional formula of lhs is not equal to dimensional formula of rhs that is if this is the situation means we could say ft is equal to wx it is not a correct equation this is wrong this equation is wrong why are you saying that this equation is wrong therefore uh, it's because dimension of lhs is not equal to dimension of rhs therefore we could confirm that an equation is wrong by saying dimension of lhs is not equal to dimension of rhs okay ഈ ഒരു മെത്തേഡിനെ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആൻസർ ചെയ്യുന്നതിനുള്ള ഒരു ഷോർട്ട് കട്ട് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം ഈ ഒരു മെത്തേഡിനെ വി കുഡ് യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എ ഷോർട്ട് കട്ട് ഫോർ സോൾവിംഗ് ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് നോട്ട് ഓൾ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ബട്ട് സം ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് എങ്ങനെയാണെന്നുള്ള ഞാൻ പറയാം വെറുതെ വട്ട് ദേ ആർ ആസ്കിങ് യു ഇസ് ദ ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിമ്പിൾ പെന്നില്ല ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിമ്പിൾ പെന്നിലും എന്തൊക്കെയോ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഒക്കെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഒരു പെന്നിൽ ഇതിനെ ഹാങ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ പെന്നിൽ അത് നടന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇത് നടന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്നിട്ട് ദേ ഹാവ് ഗിവൺ യു ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ആസ് ടു പൈ റൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ജി ബൈ എൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ആസ് ടു പൈ റൂട്ട് ഓഫ് എൽ ബൈ ജി ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ആസ് ടു പൈ എൽ ബൈ ജി ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ആസ് ടു പൈ ജി ബൈ എൽ നമുക്ക് ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിമ്പിൾ പെന്നിലും കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ അറിയില്ല എന്ന് വെച്ചു അവർ പറയുന്ന ട്രഡീഷണൽ മെത്തേഡ് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിമ്പിൾ പെന്നിലും കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ നമുക്ക് അറിയില്ല പക്ഷേ ദേ ഹാവ് ഗിവൺ യു ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് പക്ഷെ നമുക്ക് ഡയമെൻഷൻ അനാലിസിസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു പരിപാടി നമുക്ക് അറിയാം അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിമ്പിൾ പെന്നിലും ഇതിലേതാന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ സിമ്പിൾ പെന്നിലും ഇതിലേതാന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യേണ്ട ഐഡിയ എന്താ പറഞ്ഞാല് ആ ടൈം പീരീഡിനുള്ള ഇക്വേഷൻ അല്ലേ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കേണ്ടത് ഇതിപ്പോ ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു നമുക്ക് വെറുതെ ഒരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ട് ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു പൈ റൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ജി ബൈ എൽ ആണ് ചോദിച്ചു ഈ ഇക്വേഷൻ ആണ് ഉത്തരമെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം ഡയമെൻഷൽ ഫോമുല ഓഫ് എൽ എച്ച് എസ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു എന്താവണം ഡയമെൻഷൽ ഫോമുല ഓഫ് ആർ എച്ച് എസ് ആവണം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഇക്വേഷൻ ശരിയാവുള്ളൂ അപ്പം വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ടി ടി ഇസ് ടൈം പീരീഡ് ഇതിപ്പോ in in all these cases, you know dimensional formula of LHS. Dimensional formula formula of of LHS. LHS time time period 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 T. T so, T dimensional dimensional formula of RHS. So, this option option A you have to find out the dimensional formula of 2 pi root of G by L. എന്താ ടൈം പീരീഡ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് എങ്ങനെ ഡയമെൻഷൽ ഫോമുല ഓഫ് ടു പൈ റൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ജി ബൈ എൽ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം ടു ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ന്യൂമറിക്കൽ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ന്യൂമറിക്കൽ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഡയമെൻഷ്യൽ ഫോമുല ഇല്ല പൈ it is a constant with out dimensional formula pi is a constant without dimensional formula pi kum numerical constants on dimensional formula illa to g g ara acceleration due to gravity g acceleration due to gravity ana l ara length so idella physical quantities nokka namukku ariya adinokka dimensional formulas namukku ariya then we'll substitute 2 pi ki dimensional formula illa g root of g the dimensional formula acceleration the dimensional formula l t raised to minus 2 l ennu parayunnathu length length the dimensional formula l alle kodunda appo idine cheyidittundengil what we will get is 
root of t raised to minus 2. It is t raised to minus 2.